What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. So today we're going to be taking a look at Inter Milan. We're also going to be covering AC and Barca. So we're going to cover these as kind of an overview because they are re-releases. They have already been released, these packs, these epic cards. So you do get a second chance at them, uh, at getting them and packing them if that's if that's what you guys want to do. Um, personally speaking, I would say that in terms of game-changing cards... I would say that Cruyff, Cafu, and Mataus are probably, yeah, they are game-changing. Like, they are absolutely insane. Probably three of the better cards in the game. Um, I put Cruyff up there with Neymar and Messi, the legend versions. And they were the best cards ever when they came out. I think they still kind of compete, you know, the Messi and Ronaldo. Uh, or the Messi and Neymar legend cards. So, I'm going to do a video on kind of, like, players that, like, it's very hard to you know, compare certain players like Schneider to Matthaus because they're extremely different players or even Deco to Schneider because they're extremely different players. I think it depends on your play style. It depends on um, how you actually set your team up because if you are a possession-based player, you need to have possession-based players in your team. You need to have guys that are comfortable on the ball with good dribbling, good ball control, good tight possession, good passing. They don't need to be as fast. But if you're looking for just, you know, blocking passing lanes and getting the ball up as direct as possible to your strikers, uh, you need to have the likes of Mataus in your team. You need to have the likes of Barrios or uh, somebody like that, you know, that is able to get the ball back Verratti in that, in that mold. So if you are a newcomer, make sure and check out future videos that I'm going to be doing because I will be covering all the different play styles. I've got a couple of interesting videos coming as well with a few guests. So on to the player packs today. As I said, we're going to cover it and uh, go over to eFootballDB.com and check it out as well. So we're going to cover Inter, AC and Barca because we already have covered them in earlier videos. They are the exact same cards. All the stats are the same. The play style proficiency is the same. Everything is pretty much the same. The player levels, everything. So starting with Inter, we're going to give a quick glance over Inter. Wesley Schneider. I mean, you know what you're getting with Schneider. Like his, his attack and midfielder. Uh, stats are absolutely insane. You can see here on eFootballDB.com, he goes up to 95 passing, 92 uh, set piece taken for free kicks. Dribbling is very high, tight possession is high. Speed isn't too bad at all. His ball winning and all that sort of stuff, you're going to be playing him as an AMF, so that doesn't really matter. He does go 35 levels as well. So if you're able to shoot from range and keep your opponent guessing what you're going to be doing, I think Schneider could be a beast. He's also got some incredible player skills and unwavering form, as you see here. On the flip side then as well, we have Mataus, who is a DMF, who I think Mataus is probably one of the best players in the game. And I'll show you why, right? He has got really nice player skills. He's got all the shooting skills you could want, the passing skills you could want. He's also got interception, which is, yeah. I mean, you really need interception if you're looking to disrupt the play in eFootball 2023 at the moment. Blocker and interception are worth their weight in gold if you have him on a card. And he also does max out at a 94, depending on how you train him up. I've, I've decided to kind of boost up his defense here and also his passing and dribbling and his speed. So you can see here that he's going to have 86 acceleration, 88 balance, 92 stamina, but he's also going to have 87 aggression and engagement as well as really good passing stats and fairly, fairly decent dribbling stats as well, which as a box-to-box -box player that's going to be on always going to be on B form or more. Uh, our B farmer up like is on a player arrow is going to be really really decent as well and then last but not least we have one of the biggest names in football but kind of a forgotten man in eFootball 2023 we have Burkamp right Burkamp is kind of a very unusual player and this is why I'm going to make a video about uh, in the future is that like is Burkamp a bad player in the game no definitely not like he's definitely not the problem is is that he doesn't excel in the things that really are rewarded in eFootball. And that's kind of like quick, pouncy kind of strikers that are able to pounce into the box and score goals. Or else, you know, really fast guys that are able to get the ball and blow past defenders with a 1-2. Burkamp is more of a kind of like... Um, He's kind of like a Sergio Busquets in DMF. Could you get by with playing Sergio Busquets in DMF and dominate games? Yes. But 
is there better alternatives out there than Busquets? Yeah, there is. And it's the same with Burkamp. You know, I think you'd only be playing Burkamp if you're a massive fan of him or you're a purist that is just going to be concentrating on pure football and have players that are the best in their position. Because if we go over to Football DB, we will see here that even if we pump up, you know, maybe eight into his, into his shooting, maybe 10 into his passing, 10 into his dribbling, and then we're going to boost up his, his speed and acceleration to maybe 75 each. Um, we still have one or two left, you know, that we could decide what we do with it. But yeah, I mean, his his on the ball control is going to be insane. His passing is going to be very, very good at 88 low pass. His finishing is quite decent. I would probably max out his dexterity and give him 77 acceleration, but his balance still lets him down then. His heading still lets him down. So he's not going to be a, like a complete goal scoring striker for you. And if you are looking for an SS, like the likes of Dybala or somebody like that, that's a really cheap option that is, you know, you don't need to spend any money on, can do the job for you there as well. So moving on then from the Inter Milan boys, as I said, if you want to get a more in depth, depth look at the AC and the Barcelona I have them in uh, videos on my channel check them out if you are a newcomer you get a lot of, new, a lot of newcomers joining the channel so welcome lads welcome in there's a lot of videos done already I'll probably have everything covered that you guys will want to know but the AC Milan pack just to give it a quick run over because as I said I already have a full video done covering this the AC Milan pack Ronaldinho one of my favorite players absolute gem of a player Practically got me up to Division 1 way back in eFootball 2022. Um, and it was a really, really, like, it was all his free kicks, man. He's just so good at the free kicks. This guy's stats, lads, are absolutely insane. This epic card stats are incredible. Because you've got so many different stats that you can have, um, like, boosted up. And we're going to have a look here in a second. He's got all the skills. I mean, it's Ronaldinho. As I said, lads, I have full featured, you know, 10-minute videos on this AC Milan pack itself which is why I'm kind of skipping over it a bit. Um, so you can check that out. But just look at Ronaldinho's stats, lads. 96 overall as an AMF. 91 dribbling, 90 tight possession with lofted pass. The same. Set piece taken or free kicks, 91. Curl, 88. But speed and acceleration are all also in the 80s, as well as kicking power and balance is 89. His offensive awareness, his ball control, everything is in really, really high. And he's also got a load of really good player skills as well as um, the only thing that kind of settles him down from being, you know, completely OP is the fact that he has standard form, which shouldn't be an issue with the B rating there, but it is something to keep an eye on. Next up, we have Sadarf. Again, you've got a very, very dominant uh, centre midfielder there that is going to be able to get up and down the pitch. And this is what I'm talking about. You can't really compare the likes of Schneider to Sadarf because they're both completely different players. Um, you know, yeah, obviously they're similar in ways, but in other ways they are completely different. Like Schneider is more kind of a, like get on the ball, you know, get the ball to his feet, you know, and pass dribble, um, you know, really slow pace possession gameplay and maybe shoot from distance. Whereas Schneider or Sadarf is box to box, like kind of destroyer, intercepting, you know, being a nuisance, getting the ball, breaking up attacks, breaking up people's legs, all that sort of stuff. You know, he's kind of a dominator in midfield, kind of like Davids or Makalele, even though Makalele is a little bit more defensive. But you know what I mean? He's kind of like a Verratti. That's how he plays, <coughs> excuse me, or a Kante in eFootball 23. So again, you can see there that he does max out at a 94, 95, depending on how you train him up. And you've got some really decent stats there as well. We haven't focused too much on the defense there. We could, I mean, we could take away the dribbling a little bit. Um, tie possession is going to be an issue if you don't train up the dribbling. That's all I'll say about that, lads. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue to stop you getting this card. Genuinely, that's what I, that's what I think. And then last but not least, we have Cafu, one of the better... Uh, epic players that they released he has everything so he's all the player skills that you could want pinpoint crossing he's got speeding bullet uh, as his play style he's got man marking he's got weighted pass early cross so that's always going to be very very good for a right back Cafu would be my most wanted guy I have Carlos on the left and I think Cafu would be insane on the right this guy practically has 80s in every in every stat like low 80s in every stat his passing is also extremely good um, I wouldn't need to focus too much on his defense if if you already have like a defensive minded right back you could play him as a right wing back but yeah I mean his stats there speak for themselves I mean he's mid 80s in practically every stat he needs so one of the best if not the best pound for pound right backs in the game so that's all you need to know about Cafu, Sadarf and Ronaldinho check out my full term videos on them and then last but not least we do have the Barcelona pack I mean Cruyff is the real standout here we'll start with Deco right 
Deco is kind of, again, he's a hard player to recommend to spin for because if you do like Deco, obviously you're going to get him into your squad. But if you don't, like you can get a lot of players that are very, you know, you're going to be able to get players that mightn't have, mightn't have as good stats as him. Um, but, you know, are going to be able to, are going to be able to play a role with him there that you can get, you know, so the likes of somebody like I would, I, I, even off the top of my head, like the Paul in midfield, um, Sergio Canales is a really good option as well. Lorente is a really good option. There's a lot of them, but the thing about Deco that I like is his actual ability on the ball is, you know, unrivaled really for a player that you can train up 39 levels with a lot of the other stats he has 93 pass 90 ball control um you know him and schneider are very similar in how they play very similar statures and very similar like being able to take shots from far out they've got nice dipping shots marseille turn long ranger uh weighted pass so true passing as well so yeah there's a lot going on with this card i would definitely think that you can get alternatives for him, but he is, if you do spin him in your search for Cruyff, he is definitely worth boosting up as well. We've also got Piol, um, who again is a very, very good player. Uh, 22 levels, I have him. Uh, you can see there his defensive stats, we've just boosted up to the max there. His defensive stats and speed, acceleration, everything is very good. Again, there are other alternatives out there, but yeah, he is one of the best center backs in the game. Let's this epic card. Blocker, sliding, tackle, fighting spirit, heading and interception. So even though he's not the tallest center back, he is able to win aerial duels. And then last but not least, we have Cruyff, who, yeah, I mean, Cruyff is probably the ultimate one that I would want for my play style, like where I do a lot of tricks and, um, you know, I'm able to get the ball into tight areas and do something with it on the wings. Cruyff is insane. Look at those player skills. Look at the unwavering form. He's on B rating. And then when we do max him out here, we're going to get a card that's 98 overall that goes to 100 overall. When you do boost him up with the team play style, 97 or over, uh, Cruyff is absolutely insane. I mean, look at the stats. I mean, the only thing that lets him down there is the fact that he's only got 23 levels to train up and his lack of speed and acceleration. But trust me, Messi, he's faster than Messi. And he's got, you know, equally as good stats here as Messi. I would probably, like, to be honest with you, if this was me, right, I would probably take away his finishing. I would probably put his finishing to maybe 80 and uh, leave his curl at that. And I would probably put the passing at 80 as well. And I would put the dribbling there at 90. And then I would probably boost up a little bit more dexterity to get that balance up. And then obviously just put one back into shooting if we have it left over. That's how I would probably train him up. But again, you can't really go wrong with Cry Flats. He's just insane. So that is it for another episode, lads. We've covered everything there, hopefully. Um, if you are looking for a more in-depth, we have covered all these packs individually before. They are re-releases. So we will be back with the Italian one next. And don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you later. Peace.